Good evening, I'm Suzanne Marquez. We want to update you on the stories we're working on. This is CBSLA.com's The Rundown. A 34-year-old woman from Beverly Hills is dead after a hit-and-run crash in South L.A. The CHP says the woman who died was driving a Honda north on Harvard at the intersection of 120th Street when a Mercedes T-boned her car. The Mercedes then crashed into a telephone pole, at which point police say the driver and passenger got out, hopped into a waiting white BMW and just took off. Get ready for more traffic headaches at LAX. Starting Monday, the airport will begin installing two power vaults for an addition to the International Concourse. When the $1.6 billion project is finished, it will add 12 gates and expand the existing baggage pickup area. But for the next few months, you can expect long delays if you're picking up or dropping off passengers. 21 homes have now been destroyed by Hawaii's Kilauea volcano. The houses in the Leilani Estate subdivision were destroyed by molten rock bursting through openings in the ground created by the volcano. Two new fissures opened overnight with toxic gas and steam still seeping from the cracks. 1,700 people have now been evacuated. Some teenagers from the... Some teenagers from the Southland rocked out for a great cause. Junior board members of Small Wonders Foundation held a day-long concert today at the landmark venue, The Mint, in Pico Robertson. Young bands took over the stage to help raise money and awareness for children with facial differences who can't afford surgery. Now here's Amber Lee with a look at your weather. Hi, Suzanne. So it's been a very hot weekend here in Southern California thanks to a high pressure system pumping in the warm, dry air. Today, temperatures once again above average for downtown LA. 83 degrees. Normally, we should be at 74. Didn't quite break any records, but we were near record breaking, especially for a lot of our inland communities. Temperatures still slowly cooling down. 90 degrees for San Bernardino, 87 right now for Ontario, 72 for downtown LA, and we have upper 60s for Camarillo and 64 near the airport. We also have some breezes tonight, and that's because we have a low pressure pressure system to the north of us, bringing in some cooler air, and that cooler air will in turn push in more of that marine influence once we head into the overnight hour. So get ready for low clouds and fog to really thicken up, and we could even see it spread as far inland as the San Gabriel Valley, and that will also cool things down as we start the week off on Monday. Temperatures will remain above average, but just not quite as hot as what we're dealing with over the weekend. Then that high pressure system starts to rebuild all over again as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. We still have some high clouds rolling up above. You can see that high pressure pressure system starts to strengthen as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday, so temperatures will be even hotter than Monday, but we will stay above average for most of the week, even into this upcoming weekend. So here's a look at our next seven days, 70s and 80s mainly as we start the week off, then the 90s return for Tuesday and Wednesday, and then we slowly start to cool back down to the 70s and 80s, but again, temperatures remain above average for the next seven days. Thanks, Amber. Join us on CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11 for the latest on your weather forecast and all of our top stories. This has been CBSLA.com's The Rundown. I'm Suzanne Marquez. Have a great night.